all the readings today and his memorial display in front of the altar. All these speak to our hearts and our minds. Lord says, you are blessed. You are blessed if you have faith. The poor in spirit, those who realize their need for God, that I am nothing without God, everything is from Him, everything is through Him, and I have only, only everything through Him, and I put all my trust in Him, in Him alone. If that is what I believe, I am blessed. And all the rest of the blessings will follow that blessing. The second reading, Peter says something beautiful. Having seen the life of Jesus, the death of Jesus, and his resurrection, Peter has this great revelation. This Jesus lived, came, lived, and died for the whole humanity. Not for us Jews alone. Everybody on this earth, everybody, whatever be the nationality or culture or race or nation, doesn't matter, they all belong to this one Father in heaven. And we have seen the face of that God in Jesus. We were there. We were there. And we are witnesses to all that has happened. And the first reading, the souls of the virtuous are in the hands of God. What does it mean? Those who have died, they are not dead. Of course, there was a funeral, there was a coffin, it happened, but we are reminded, we are reminded, they are still alive. Your loved ones are still alive. You may be still grieving over the, the loss of your loved but still, at the back of the mind, you know, oh, she is there, he is there, I will see him again, I will see them again. It's only a matter of time. And the psalmist reminds us, are you walking in the valley of the shadow of death? Yes, we are, aren't we? This pandemic always reminds us, we all are walking in the valley of the shadow of death. Not just during this pandemic, any time, every time we are walking in the valley of the shadow of death. But there is a light. There's a blazing, beautiful light when we, have, when we are walking in this shadow of death. The resurrection of Christ. The risen Jesus. In the light of the resurrection of Christ, we know who we are, where we are going, and what is going to happen to us beyond the grave. Does not St. John reminds us? We don't know how we are going to, what we are. All we know is, all we know is one thing, we shall be like him. And we shall know him as he really is. In the risen Jesus, we can say with joy, with the hope, and with the faith, we have been at the top of the mountain. We have been to the top of the mountain. Life has been very hard. It may be going to be harder in the coming days, but we have this faith deep inside of us. We have been to the mountain top and seen and seen the promised land. And that is our faith. 
And that is our hope and our consolation in every moment of sadness, loss, and pain today and in all the days to come. God bless each one of us.